Good evening. It's Monday <clears throat> and it's the start of a new week of daily vlogs. So let me rewind to Sunday. How was Sunday? Quite relaxed, actually. Hold on, let me just turn this uh, air filter off. Otherwise I've got the air filter and the heater on because it's turned cold. Um, and it's just too much noise, too much background noise. There we are, that's better. Thank you. Sunday. Fairly relaxed day, few chores, housework, bits and pieces, you know, the usual thing. Putting washing away, doing washing, vacuuming, blah, blah, blah. Dusting. Um, but also going on a hunt for a piece of jewellery that I lost. Mm. So last week I fancied wearing a ring and I don't wear rings very often. Um, I tend to wear more jewellery in the summer because I like the look of it, sparkling in the sun. And, you know, I do have a few pieces that I've bought over the years um, mainly when I sort of had the novelty of disposable income when I was first in this job full time. And, you know, I had a few savings, bits and pieces, and I treated myself to a few pieces because when I was 40, I said to all my friends, I'd really like a diamond ring. So just give me some money for my birthday. Don't buy me a gift, just give me some money. So people did, and I put that towards buying a diamond ring. And yeah, that was for my 40th. And I bought a couple of other pieces along the way. And one of them was a white gold Tanzanite and diamond ring, a little ring, pinky ring that I bought in Guernsey. And it's a beautiful little ring, um, wasn't too expensive. It's only nine carat white gold. Um, treated myself in Guernsey to it and tend to wear it in the summer. And last week I just thought, I fancy wearing my Tanzanite. I'm gonna wear it. Where is it? Well, I looked high and low and couldn't find it. And yesterday I thought, well, I'll have another look for it, but I'd kind of resigned myself to the rather bizarre fact that I'd lost it. Because I don't tend to put things in random places that often um, for safekeeping or, you know, for example, if you're doing some washing up and you take your rings off, which you should do, um, you maybe put it on the side. And the last time I can remember doing that was when we were in Wales and I took my one of my diamond rings and put it on the side. And my friend said to me, oh, remember your rings on the side there? And I did, and I put it back on. That's the last time I can remember. And I could not remember the last time I wore my Tanzanite. And the thing is, I weighed it up in my head and thought, you know, it's not the end of the world. It's only a ring. And yeah, part of me was saying, yeah, but that ring cost X amount of money, blah, blah, blah. And then you balance it and say, well, get over it quickly. Deal with it. You know, don't lose any sleep over it. You've lost it. That's it. And Paul said to me, I think it'll turn up. And I said, well, you've got more faith than I have. So I thought yesterday I was getting ready to have a bath, having a shave and all of that. And I thought, I'll just have another look. And guess what? I found it in the place that I had looked several times. Bizarre. I think the house elves didn't want me to find it until yesterday. And I'm rather relieved. I'm wearing it today. I don't know whether you'll be able to see it in this light. I don't know whether you can get up close. Won't focus. 
but it's a violet coloured tanzanite which you can't really see in this light with little shoulders of diamond chips in uh, set in white gold so there you go and I bought a tanzanite because tanzanite was discovered the year I was born from Tanzania and it's only found there um, so yeah there you go hurrah I know first world problems and all of that so yeah I enjoyed yesterday I really rejoiced finding that ring that was good um, and today at work has been fairly quiet I know very odd but it busied up towards the afternoon um, and yeah but the other thing I noticed today is the early flowering cherry blossom down the end of the road which I take a photo of each year is in bloom so by now you'll have seen a photo of that on our social media so yeah weather wise it's getting cooler much cooler today and very breezy so I think we're in for this cold snap I don't think we're going to get snow uh, but it is feeling much cooler hence the uh, dressing gown for the evening so there you go that's it nothing else to report I don't think yeah that's it for today I'll see you tomorrow bye for now Good evening. It's Tuesday evening. It's very windy out there tonight. Um, there's lots of weather going on at the moment. I do believe that the Midlands and the North are going to be hit by snow. Quite deep snow, apparently. And we're going to miss out. We're not going to see any of it. I think I mentioned that yesterday. So, yeah, I've just been watching the Met Office deep dive um, which sort of goes into depth about the weather systems and what they're doing. So we get our weather from all different directions. Um, and yeah, but it's pretty mild down here in the south, which of course we're very grateful for because it means the house feels warmer. And obviously it's getting lighter and lighter by the day. So leaving work, it's it's almost light now when I walk out at five o'clock, which is lovely. Uh, but yes, very grey, very breezy. Um, and wouldn't you just know it, but Thursday and Friday, it's going to be a washout, apparently. Typical, bloody typical. Hey, what can you do? So, yeah, today, what's today been like? Well, I had a bit of a an annoying thing happen today. Um, I was approached by the service manager who asked me a question. And the question was, why do we not have a room booking system on Outlook? I said, oh, all right. And I thought, hmm, he's just been in a meeting with a team, one of the teams, and he's asking me this. So clearly it's been brought up by this particular discipline in a team meeting. So I said, OK, I'll tell you why we don't have a, a booking system for rooms using Outlook. Uh, because we've trialled it in the past and it was an absolute shambles. If you allow clinicians to book their own rooms, they make so many mistakes. Double bookings occur, cancellations aren't done. Uh, people book rooms when they shouldn't do, i.e. on days where there are clinics uh, and rooms should be kept free. People book large rooms when they only need a small room, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on. I've trialled it. I know exactly what happens. It's a complete and utter mess. And whenever this is asked of me, I kind of feel a little bit annoyed by it. 
And the reason being is I've been in the job for 16 years and the system we have, which is using an old fashioned diary, works perfectly well and it's completely controlled by me. And he sort of, um, he looked at me and sort of implied that, you know, I was enjoying having full control over it. And I said, well, the reason being is because you need to have things done correctly and not messed around. I've dealt with too many errors in the past where people haven't booked a room, where room availability wasn't there for them because they'd forgotten to book a room. Um, I actively manage the rooms, i.e. I might say to somebody, look, I'm going to swap you over because we've got a larger meeting that needs to be in that room. So can you go in the smaller room? Blah, blah, blah. Um, I can manage things at short notice. And I ensure that no double bookings ever occur. So there's a sort of whole host of reasons why we've retained this manual system. Um, and I feel slightly peeved when a clinical team assumes they know the best way to do something when I've been doing it for 16 years without a problem. And I'm an administrator. I work in admin. And let the administrators get on with administrating because it's what we do best because we know how to do it. We're very practised at it. And when a clinical team who don't really do admin say things like that, I feel it's a bit of an insult, you know? Even though it's not intended as though it's meant to be insulting, you know? So, just annoying. So I made my feelings known. And I will protect that system for as long as I can. Um, and if they did decide to swap over to an electronic booking system, I would relinquish my management of it and say, there you go, deal with it yourselves. Any problems that come up? And I was talking to a colleague and she said, oh my God, the last team I worked in had an electronic booking system and it was a complete and utter farce because people kept making mistakes. So, yeah, I trialled this. I think I said just earlier, I trialled this a few years ago and it was, it was a complete and utter mess because people couldn't manage things. Yeah, so that's my bugbear today, which really kind of narked me a bit. I shouldn't let things knock me in that way, but I did because I'm very protective over the way I work because it works. <laughs> Hello. Anywho, I'm not stressed about it. I'm just a bit knocked by it. But I keep focusing on the fact that Wednesday is my final day of the week, even though we're going to be drenched in rain on Thursday and Friday and won't probably be able to go out anywhere just have to find things to do around the house, which means you'll probably get more of me vlogging. There you go. So that's it for Tuesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good evening. It's Wednesday evening. Uh, let's think what has today been like. Well, weather-wise, it's very grey, overcast. There was a peep of sun earlier, a brief glimpse, and then it went grey. And it was quite dull at five o'clock. Almost felt like we were sort of slipping back into winter. Yeah, very dull and cold. Not very cold, but just feeling cool, much cooler. The difference between today and the weekend just gone is quite tremendous. Um, yeah, but hey-ho, we're still in winter. And I think in February, we tend to forget that. You know, we're so geared up for 
the start of spring and the tantalising glimpses of spring, spring bulbs coming up, blossoms starting to come out. I'm really bunged up. Uh, yeah, I think it's that tantalising glimpse. And of course, we can very often have quite a mild February um, where we're fooled into thinking that spring has arrived when it actually hasn't. So, yeah. Work-wise, it's been fairly busy and I'm just very pleased that work is over for me now. For the week. Very, very pleased by that. I had a nice compliment paid to me today by one of the senior social workers. They'd had some feedback from a mum that I'd uh, been speaking to a couple of months ago and gave some help to and that's been fed back to the customer service manager for the borough. Um, it's really pleasant to receive feedback like that but you sort of think, well, isn't that how everybody is supposed to treat people? We're all in service. When you work for the council, you're in a service role. So everybody should be acting in the same way. That's surely part of your contract. Um, but that, yeah, that was nice to hear. And uh, I'm very glad that I was able to... Uh, help out. That's it, isn't it? So yeah, that's it now until Monday. But we were hoping to get out and about. That's not going to happen because we're in for torrential rain for two days. And the northern half of the country is in for heavy snow. Yeah, February, sweet February. Uh, <sighs> Lovely. So nothing else to report. I've just put a wash on. Trying to get ahead of the game, so to speak. And uh, we're about to have something to eat. Paul's uh, doing a curry, I think. So yeah. So no doubt the next couple of days you'll hear quite a few bits and pieces from me. Because I'll be housebound. Hey ho, I'm not going to complain. It's time at home. We've got a few plans for the weekend. Seeing a friend on Saturday evening. A couple of friends. So that will be pleasant. Something to look forward to. And I need to blow my nose. My nose was really irritated earlier. It was really tickly and I hope I'm not coming down with something. I don't think I am. I don't feel ill. I feel fine. Just a little tired perhaps. So, there you go. I'll see you tomorrow. Good morning. It's Thursday morning, Thursday. And I'm off work. How lovely. But, as I said yesterday, it is grey and cold and very, very wet. It's vile out there. It's just horrendous. Paul has been out this morning to a little, to a little bit of shopping. See what I did there? A little bit of shopping. <laughs> Clever. That is the strap line. What? A little bit extra, a little bit of shopping. No, it's not. A how little would, surprise. How would I know that? God. I must be psychic. Yes, Paul's over the, over the way. Here we are. Wave to the camera, Paul. I've done that. Oh, Wait. well, I can't see. I'm having to turn it. Um, we're having a day in today rather than a day out. Because <sighs> there's no choice, really. I mean, you know, I suppose the only thing I could do would be to go and do some retail therapy. But my CBA syndrome's kicked in. I just can't be asked. So... We have some plans today indoors. It'll be some heist work, 
and also some cookery. Oh yeah. We did tell you that we were going to do some cookery videos and we are going to attempt to do a couple of videos today. You won't see them for a while because um, it'll take a while to put them together. But I want to, well, we want to create a new series. Um, and the plan is to get a few videos in the can um, before release. Because what tends to happen is when you promise a video series... Um, it gets to the point in the week where you have to film. And sometimes you're not always in a place where you want to film. Or something else happens that takes priority. Uh, and with me sort of working extra hours at the moment, I'm not guaranteed that I'm always going to be available on a Thursday and Friday to do filming. So I can't guarantee a release. So we'd like to get a few in the can before we release them. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We haven't even had breakfast yet, Paul. Mm -hmm. Did you put that bread out on the side in the thought that we might be having toast? We could have toast. That wasn't my thought. Wasn't, wasn't your thought. Well, we'll have cereal. We'll have cereal. Don't worry. Don't panic. Oh, God. It's all good. No, I want toast. Well, I don't know whether I do, Paul. That's the thing. Oh. So... There you go. I'll see you later. It's still chucking it down. It's about quarter past ten, I think the clock says. But I just wanted to show you this. The amaryllis. You saw the single bloom that came out a while ago. Well, we cut the original bloom off because it faded. But then it gave us three more. Isn't that gorgeous? So lovely on this uh, very dull, dull and very wet day. Chucking it down again. Oh, it really is the kind of day where you've just got to stay indoors. Hey ho, c'est la vie. Hi, it's, uh, I don't know what time it is, a quarter past 11 on Thursday. You can see Paul is in the kitchen behind me and he's just doing some prep because we are finally recording a new cookery series. It's going to be all about pressure cooking, as I said earlier. Did I say that earlier? I can't remember whether I did or not. But yeah, it's going to be about using the Instant Pot, which was um, gifted to us a while ago now uh, by Courtney and Dave, our lovely supporters. And Paul's done a lot of cooking in the Instant Pot. So he's kind of an expert now at doing one pot dishes, um, specifically really for batch cooking and freezing, um, which we find a really convenient way of feeding ourselves. You know, there's always something available. Um, so, yeah. So Paul is busy doing that and then we're going to film it and edit it and get it in the can ready for future release. So, yeah. And it's still very grey and horrible and wet out there. Ugh, ugh. Just not very inspiring at all. So, you know, when that happens, you have to turn your attention to indoor pursuits. So I'll see you later. Bye for now. Good afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon. We're in the middle of our second recording, our second uh, recipe. Um, so it's been quite a busy day. Uh, it's so cold though. Ugh. The house feels chilly. I've had the heater on a few times. Um, it's so grim. It's just really, really grim. 
I don't think it's raining at the moment, but it looks like it'll probably start again any minute. So I've got a little bit of time while the dish that we've just cooked is cooking. So I'm going to carry on with my reading of Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass. I'm on Through the Looking Glass now and really enjoying it, I have to say. Really enjoying it. Did a little bit of writing earlier as well for the newsletter. So we're really making use of our Thursday. Um, you know, really making use of the time, which feels really good. So Paul's been the busiest, really. He's been doing all the prep um, because cookery videos take take quite a lot of prep compared with the amount of time filming. So were you about to come in? Um, yeah, so, you know, they are work heavy cookery videos, which is why it takes a while to sort of build up to doing one. So we're doing two today. I know, we're completely mental. Oh. No, it's fine. Um, I do feel a little bit tired this afternoon, I have to say, and I'm kind of looking at the sofa thinking, God, I'd love 20 minutes, lie down. But maybe after we've finished filming, well, maybe not, because actually I'd quite like to get the videos edited and ready for upload even though it's going to be a little while before they are released. Um, I'm not sure exactly when they'll be coming out. You'll have to watch this space. I want to time the release appropriately so they get maximum views uh, because a lot of people have been asking for cookery videos. So, you know, I do hope you watch them when they come out. Thank you very much. So yeah, there you go. That's my day so far. See you later. Whew, it's Thursday evening. Well, it was quite a busy day. Quite a productive day, which is good. I've just spent a couple of hours editing um, one of the cookery videos and also this video as well. Started putting it together. So uh, yeah, productive full day, which is great. So it's time to relax now. So I'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now. Good morning. It's Saturday morning. I know I didn't do a vlog yesterday, but you know, we were kind of busy. Yeah. And I did a live show in the evening, which was totally spontaneous and impromptu, uh, which I very much enjoyed. So thank you for joining me. For those of you who did. It was lovely. I think we had about 110 people watching at one point, which was just great. Thank you. So Saturday morning, weather-wise, it's quite settled. We've just filmed Sunday chat. Uh, so, yeah, I'm just looking forward to a productive day and at some point a nice hot bath. And we're going to be out this evening uh, just for a couple of hours to see a friend for dinner which will be lovely. There's nothing else to report particularly. Um, like I say, it's settled out there. It's not particularly sunny, uh, but it is fairly bright at the moment, which is good, but feeling cool. So yeah. Yeah, there you go. That's it for the week, really. Nothing else to report. I will continue my vlogs tomorrow for the new vlogging week. Take care. Thanks for all your support. I'll see you very soon. Bye for now.